learn how to bake a very simple homemade biscuit recipe with only three ingredients in this video you will learn two methods of preparations a no oven baked method and with oven baked method these cookies are absolutely crispy and super delicious hello everyone and welcome back to queen varieties channel and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel to get instant notifications whenever i upload any video kindly share this video with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it with thank you In this bowl here, I have about um, 400 grams of uh, margarine. I'll be using margarine precisely for this recipe. In case you're using um, butter, please use um, 350 grams of butter. And make sure the type of butter you're using is the softened butter. You can see that this butter is very soft. You see that? So it's at room temperature. Like I said you can use your hand whisk to beat it for some few minutes before you incorporate um, the flour. But I'll be using the hand machine to do this. you were asking me my last um, shortbread biscuit recipe if somebody can use a uh, margarine that is the reason why i'm using margarine in this um, video so just in case um, you're having butter just use butter like i have instructed them um, earlier on so you can see that it's a little bit um, whitish in nature go forward and pour in one cup of powdered sugar which is the same thing with the icing sugar or the confectioner sugar if you don't want to use the powdered sugar you can as well use the granulated sugar all you have to do is uh, mix everything well just to make sure that the sugar is completely melted friends so these two ingredients are perfectly combined and now we are going to incorporate the flour for this recipe i'll be using them um, three cups of flour so i'll go forward now and sift that in i'll try and combine that um, step by step so uh, with the help of my spatula i will mix in here i have about a um, three quarter cup of um, corn flour that is just to give them um, the biscuits a kind of um, form corn flour is going to help make your biscuit to come out more crispy like in nature but this is optional if you want to use the corn flour you can just keep this step and continue with flour this is particular corn flour here with extra three quarter cups of um, flour I'll be using my hands right now to combine everything so please make sure your hands are very very neat as in super neat I have a perfect dough as you can see and this dough is not tough it's kind of a um, soft dough at the same time it's not um, too soft. Place this on my work surface now. You need this for just um, one or two times. This way, just this way. You don't want to over knead that and you use your hands, bring it in together. Repeat that same step just one more time. It's as simple as that. And you have your perfect dough for your cookie okay guys so right now you can go ahead and cut your cookies into any shape that you want to place this in my refrigerator but if you want to cut it now you can just um, spread it out and then um, cut it right here i have some plastic wrap i'll place it inside my fridge you can also use a clean film to just foil it i'm gonna place this in my freezer for exactly 30 good minutes or 15 minutes to 30 minutes if you don't want to bake it now you can just leave it in your freezer until whenever you want to bake it you bring it out and then um, freeze it it can stay in your freezer for many months time we are going over to the baking process because i'm about to bring out the dough from the fridge all right as you can see i've placed the pot on the heat my cooker settings is between zero to number nine 
so i'll be preheating this pot right now on my number three heat for exactly 10 good minutes i'll pour in some salt you can as well do it without any salt but um, i don't want to damage this pot because it's a new pot so i'll add some salt the salt is going to help to retain the heat if you want to bake on your frying pan all you have to do is to brush your frying pans with a little bit of butter or oil and then put in your cookies there and bake okay guys so what we are going to do now is to cover this pot to preheat for exactly 10 good minutes while that step is going on i will now bring out um, the dough from the fridge i'll be using my cake pan to bake the cookies as you can see i've lined it on with um, some parchment paper that is optional and also i've brushed it with some butter so that the cookies will not stick on it so this i've done off camera you can also do that at this stage i'll lightly flour my wet surface with some flour i'll just place um, a baking sheet on the surface just to make it a little bit um, easier to roll it out because um, it's breaking up all right so you can see i have a smooth appearance with the help of my dough cutter, I'll begin to cut it up. You can actually make this um, into any shape of your choice. For this recipe, I'll be doing different sizes, not necessarily one type of size. Also join the same dough back and then roll it again. here i have the cake pan filled so what i'm going to do now is to start the baking process while i continue rolling the remaining doughs i'll use my fork and pierce some holes at the surface of the cookies now i'll be transferring it to the preheated pot which will be preheating for exactly 10 good minutes this is the beautiful appearance that we are having right now hot enough i will increase my heat to the very medium now i've turned my heat all the way down to number five so we're going to bake this for exactly um 15 good minutes to 20 minutes to do that i'm going to place a rack placing the rack is very important because you don't want the cake pan to sit at the base of the pot that means your cookies are going to burn then i'll cover the pot and allow this to start baking You can use your fork and give some design on it if you want it's just optional all right my beautiful people so the oven is preheated at 150 degrees celsius and as you can see i have all the dough completely rolled out here yes so i'm going to transfer this right into the oven and allow the baking process to start so keep an eye on it anywhere between 15 minutes to 20 minutes it all depends on how your oven settings is so i'm going to transfer right into the oven and start baking it in time friends we are going to check um, the outcome of the cookies in the pot oh la la guys can you see that steam that just came out of that pot i mean take a good look at these beautiful cookies guys this place smells incredibly amazing i'm trying to form this into a kind of a um, block shape shape this into a kind of square shape as you can see it here and cut it into a kind of um, shortbread sizes okay, so let me show you the outcome of the baking process oh la la that is what we are having right so it's been here. about 15 to 20 minutes and this is the perfect outcome you can see that it's completely cooked when you notice that um, brownish appearance right there Okay, 
80 minutes later the baking process is completed this is what we are having this is the outcome of the cookies looking so buttery and absolutely mouth watering going to allow it to cool down completely it's very very important allow the cookies to sit here until it is completely cooled down all before right you my gorgeous friends so here we are going to draw the cutting for today's video thank you so much for spending time with me i really hope you have enjoyed today's recipe if you have kindly subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with your friends loved ones or anybody you want to share it with until i come your way next time Bye, and remember, variety is the spice of life. Bye.